In this presentation, I'm going to teach you about the five do's and don'ts of successfully selling your products on Etsy. Many people who sell their handmade clothing and jewelry on Etsy do not have much experience with sales, so it makes sense that new Etsy sellers would make mistakes once in a while. This guide should help you avoid the mistakes that a lot of first-time Etsy sellers make. Not only that, but I'll be going over what exactly you need to do to be successful on Etsy. Keep in mind that this won't necessarily be a comprehensive list. That said, it will be a good place to start. Let's get into it. 1. Do use plenty of photos. What is the first thing that catches your eye when you visit someone's Etsy shop? The pictures of their products, of course. When it comes to showing off your products on Etsy, you can't go wrong with using a lot of high-quality photos. If you'd like, you can hire a professional photographer to take these photos. Don't use poor quality photos. No one is going to want to purchase your products if your photos are bad. At the very least, you'll want to make sure that you're using good lighting and a nice backdrop when taking pictures of your products. 2. Do use keywords to your advantage. You'd be surprised what a difference using keywords in your product descriptions can make. If you sell handbags, make sure to use keyword handbags as many times as you can. This will help drive traffic to your Etsy shop. Don't use bland descriptions. It's important that you make your products both look and sound interesting. The better your product descriptions are, the more interested people will be in buying from your shop. 3. Do interact with your customers. Make sure to say thank you when someone orders something from your Etsy shop. Answer any questions they might have. By doing so, you'll earn their trust and they'll be a lot more likely to leave you a good review too. Don't ignore your customers. This probably goes without saying. Still though, chatting with your customers and addressing their concerns is going to be part of your job as an Etsy seller. Don't ignore them or you might receive a bad review. 4. Do fill out all of your shop's policies. Your customers will want to know what your return policy is, how long it typically takes for items to arrive, and what they should do if an item gets ruined in the mail or doesn't show up. Don't be vague. Needless to say, you can't assume that every single order will go perfectly well every single time. This is why it's important to be clear about your shop's policies. If you are too vague, customers might lose trust in you as a seller. 5. Do look at your shop from a customer's perspective. A big part of finding success on Etsy is making sure that your shop looks nice and organized. This isn't just about having high-quality photos. It's also about making sure that your product descriptions make sense and are up to date. Don't assume that your shop looks perfect. It's always a good idea to get perspectives from different people. You'll want to take your customer reviews into consideration as well. After all, the customer usually knows best. If you take the time to update your shop based on customer reviews that you agree with, people will see that you pay attention to your customers and will continue to buy from you. There you have it, the five do's and don'ts of Etsy success. Good luck out there and happy selling. In this presentation, I'll be discussing the five main reasons why Etsy is a great platform for selling your creative works. Etsy has become a super popular marketplace for artists, crafters, and creative people to sell their one-of-a-kind products. Whether you're an experienced artist or just starting out, here are five reasons why Etsy is a great place to sell your creations. 1. Global Audience Etsy gives you access to millions of buyers from around the world who are looking for handmade, vintage, and unique products. Unlike selling at local events or stores, Etsy allows you to reach customers from everywhere. Needless to say, this means that you can connect with more people and sell more products. With Etsy's search tools, your products will have a better chance of being found by buyers who might not have seen them otherwise. 2. Helpful Community One of the best things about Etsy is its supportive community of sellers. If you need advice on how to take better photos of your products, price them, or market them, you should be able to gain plenty of helpful guidance from other Etsy sellers. There are several groups and workshops where you can learn from experienced sellers and get tips on how to grow your business. Many Etsy sellers also keep blogs, so that can be a great place to interact with other entrepreneurs like yourself as well. 3. 
marketing tools. Etsy is a fantastic place to market your products and attract new customers. You can easily create discount codes, run promotions, and share your listings on social media. If you like, you can even run social media ads and use hashtags in your captions to attract even more people to your shop. If you're using SEO to write your product descriptions, potential customers will have an easier time finding your Etsy store as well. 4. Customization Options On Etsy, you can personalize your shop to match your style, brand, and specific aesthetic. From your shop's banner and logo to the descriptions of your products, you can show off your creativity and make your shop stand out. This is great news for Etsy sellers who are particularly skilled in writing and photography. Instead of using stock images and templates, you can write catchy descriptions and take high-quality photos for your Etsy shop. Having access to so many customization options will help you create a unique identity and build trust with your customers, which is always a plus. 5. Affordable Selling Fortunately, starting a shop on Etsy doesn't cost much. There are small fees for listing your products, but you won't have to pay a monthly fee to keep your shop open. Needless to say, this makes it easy for Etsy sellers of all sizes to get started without spending a lot of money. If you decide to run ads on social media, that might cost a bit more, but running ads on social media can be quite profitable, so it should work out well for you in the long run. The fact that selling on Etsy is so affordable also means that you can sell your creative works at reasonable prices. This will help you build a loyal customer base. If you're an artist, whether you're into painting, crocheting, or making custom stickers, selling your creative works isn't always easy. Thankfully, Etsy makes the process of selling creative works a lot easier. Oftentimes, customers turn to Etsy because they're looking for something unique and handmade. I'd recommend using this to your advantage. Emphasize the fact that your products are handmade and one of a kind. In this presentation, I'll be going over five strategies for building your Etsy brand. Your brand and aesthetic are going to be more important than you might think when it comes to selling your products on Etsy. Your brand is what attracts people to your Etsy shop in the first place, and your aesthetic and personal voice is what keep customers coming back. There are a number of ways that you can build your Etsy brand, and this guide is meant to provide you with a comprehensive list of simple strategies you can use to get started. So if you've been struggling with building an Etsy brand that sticks, you're not alone and you've come to the right place. Let's jump right in. 1. Reflect on why you sell your items. Your product and pictures may be great, but ultimately customers are going to remember your Etsy shop and keep making purchases because of your brand identity. When building your brand identity, there are a few things you'll want to consider. For example, how does your specific story align with your brand identity? On platforms like Etsy, the genuineness and personal touch of your craft will be highly valued by customers. Sharing the story behind your products can help draw in new customers. This is because making such a unique purchase will make your customers feel special and perhaps like they're making a difference. 2. Know your competition. This might go without saying, but you need to understand who else is in the market. Positioning your brand isn't just about your product, it's about how your customers see it. It's about shaping what people think about the products you sell. Start by figuring out what your customers already think about similar products. What do they already have? What problems do they still need to solve? How can you make their lives better? Find ways to meet customers' needs that other sellers aren't addressing. This will make your Etsy brand stand out. Three. Be consistent and coherent with your brand messaging. The key to making your Etsy brand memorable is keeping your message simple and easy to understand. Don't try to appeal to everyone. Focus on one thing and make it stand out in a big way. Your brand message should also be consistent across all platforms. If your Etsy shop was a glamorous and bold aesthetic, for example, your emails, social media posts, flyers, and business cards should reflect that aesthetic too. 4. Know your customers. In business, as in life, there is nothing more important than the connections you make with others. By nurturing the relationships you have with your customers, you should be able to strengthen both your brand and your business. Understand your customers, their preferences, desires, and requirements, and find ways to fulfill them. 
Encourage your customer feedback on your Etsy page and social media platforms too. Remember, the most effective marketing often comes from satisfied customers spreading the word for you. Five, be authentic. When building your Etsy brand, it's important that you're being your authentic self. Most of the time, customers will be able to see through made up stories. This is why it's important to put time and effort into figuring out the reason why you're selling your products on Etsy in the first place. Be personable in the introduction and about me section of your Etsy shop. And be friendly when answering customer questions and interacting with others. This will make people feel like they can truly trust your brand. So there you have it. Building your Etsy brand is going to take a little time and effort, but it'll be worth it in the end. Five strategies to drive more traffic to your Etsy store. Creating a successful Etsy shop goes beyond just having products and a nice looking online store. While having quality items at good prices is an important part of getting attention from potential customers, it's equally important to make sure that people can actually find your shop. Boosting the visibility of your Etsy store is going to be the key to attracting new customers. It'll also be the best way to ensure that your past customers keep coming back for more. The question that a lot of new Etsy shop owners have is, how do you do that? Here are five effective methods I would recommend for increasing traffic and making sure that your Etsy store gets noticed. 1. Use social media. Using social media is a great way to get more people to check out your Etsy store. In fact, there's no better way to connect with lots of different types of people at once. Not only that, but your customers will be able to chat with you on social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram which will make the experience of purchasing something from your Etsy store more personal for them. When it comes to using social media to drive more traffic to your Etsy store, you'll want to start by figuring out who your target audience is. From there, you'll need to figure out a good posting schedule. Don't go overboard or disappear for too long, or people might not notice your posts. Get creative with your posts and interact with your customers regularly. They'll sure appreciate it. Two. Start a blog. A lot of people don't think about this, but starting a blog and blogging consistently is an excellent way to drive more traffic to your Etsy store. Not only is it a great way to establish trust with your customers, but people will be able to respond to your blog posts, which will help to build a strong sense of community. Your blog can also serve as another platform where customers can reach out to you if they don't feel comfortable doing so on social media. 3. Update your listings at least once a month. To drive even more traffic to your Etsy store, you'll want to make sure that your listings are up to date. This will involve checking your listings regularly, ideally every month, to make sure that the information about your products is still relevant. If you need to make changes, make changes, within reason of course. This way your listings will stay fresh and continue to attract potential customers to your shop. Four. Develop a photography style. The pictures you take of your products need to be eye-catching. Otherwise, people might overlook your Etsy shop listings. If you like, you can hire a professional photographer to take high-quality photos of your products. There are also a number of ways to take great photos from your own home, as long as you have access to good lighting and a nice backdrop. 5. Use keywords to your advantage. You're going to want to take some time to think about keywords people are going to type into the search bar when searching for your products. For example, if you sell turquoise jewelry in your Etsy shop, you'll want to use the keywords turquoise and jewelry in your product descriptions. This way, when people type in these keywords, your products will pop up right away. And there you have it. By following these strategies, you should be able to drive more traffic to your Etsy store in no time. Five ways to create killer product descriptions for your Etsy shop. As you probably already know, millions of products are being sold on Etsy every day. This means that you have to make your products stand out somehow. One of the best ways to make your products in Etsy stores stand out is to write killer product descriptions. There are a number of ways you can do this. A lot of people use templates for product descriptions and professionals stress the importance of talking more about benefits than features. Let's take a closer look at the best tips and tricks for creating killer product descriptions that will drive more traffic to your Etsy shop. 
One, use keywords. Using keywords is really important when you're writing descriptions for your Etsy products. Keywords are the words or phrases that people type into the search bar when they're looking for things to buy on Etsy. If you include the right keywords in your descriptions, it makes it more likely that your products will show up higher in the search results. Etsy uses your descriptions to figure out which products to show to people, so if you use the right keywords, it can help more people find and buy your products. Two, be detailed. Although it may take a little practice, it is possible to be detailed in your product descriptions while also being concise. Potential buyers will be eager to gather as much information as they can about the product they're thinking of buying. It's important to provide details like the size, color, and materials used in your products, along with any special features that make your products unique. The more descriptive you are, the more likely it is that visitors to your Etsy shop will actually make a purchase. Three, use bullet points. Bullet points tend to be easier to read than walls of text. Using bullet points is also a great way to highlight certain features when writing product descriptions, so you'll definitely want to make use of them whenever you can. I mentioned before that you can be detailed while also being concise. Using bullet points is an excellent way to do exactly this. You won't be forcing your customers to read long descriptions, but you'll still be providing them with all of the details they need about your products. Four, make your product description scannable. Using punctuation and formatting effectively can greatly improve the clarity of your Etsy product descriptions. It's always a good idea to incorporate headings, bullet points, and other formatting techniques to make your listings easier for customers to scan. Of course, you'll also want to use correct grammar and simple sentences. The easier that your product descriptions are to understand, the better. Five, find your voice. The way that you write sets the tone for your shop's unique personality and aesthetic. When creating your writing style, you'll want to consider who your customers are. What is the impression that you want them to have while visiting your Etsy shop? Voice makes more of a difference than you might think when it comes to writing Etsy product descriptions. Different voices are going to attract different types of customers, so it's important to keep your voice in mind. Ultimately, writing killer product descriptions for your Etsy shop is going to take some practice. As you can see, there's a lot to take into consideration. If you're not sure where to start, you may want to take a look at product descriptions on successful Etsy shops. You can also use a template to start and go from there. Can social media ads make your Etsy store profitable? For Etsy sellers, using social media ads can be a great way to increase visibility, attract potential customers, and ultimately make more money. Can social media ads really help your Etsy store become profitable though? Let's take a closer look. Social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest provide advertising options that allow businesses to target specific groups of people based on factors like age, location, interests, and online habits. Since social media ads are targeted, you'll be drawing the attention of people who will be genuinely interested in what you're selling. Unlike traditional advertising methods like print or TV ads, social media ads let sellers choose exactly who sees their ads. Social media ads also give Etsy sellers the ability to control how much they spend on advertising. Whether a seller has a small budget or a big one, social media platforms offer plenty of options for businesses of all sizes to create effective ad campaigns without spending too much money. This flexibility lets Etsy sellers try out different kinds of ads. This means that you'll get a chance to see what works best for your store without going over budget. Another benefit of using social media ads to make your Etsy store more profitable is that you'll be able to see how well your ads are doing in real time. Social media platforms provide detailed information about how many people saw an ad, how many clicked on it, and how many ended up buying something after viewing the ad. This will allow you to track the success of your ads and make changes to improve them if necessary. Social media ads also allow Etsy sellers to show off their products in a visually appealing way. Platforms like Instagram and Pinterest are especially good for sharing high quality pictures and videos. By using these platforms, you'll be able to make sure that your products look as good as possible. 
the better your product photos are, the more people will be enticed and therefore visit your Etsy store. Even though social media ads have a lot of potential to help Etsy stores become profitable, there's no guarantee of success. Like any kind of advertising, it takes careful planning and testing to get the best results. Here are some tips for Etsy sellers who want to make the most out of using social media ads. Set clear goals. Set clear goals for your ads, like increasing sales or getting more people to visit your website. It's recommended that you start by setting manageable goals. This way you won't get overwhelmed or disappointed when business is slow. Identify your target audience. Learn as much as you can about your target audience so that you can create ads that will appeal to them. This is going to be the first and most important step when it comes to bringing in new customers. Create high quality ads. Make sure your ads look good and grab people's attention. If you're having someone else create your social media ads for you, don't hesitate to tell them exactly what your vision is. Experiment with different types of ads. Try different kinds of ads and see which ones work best for your store. This is oftentimes a process of trial and error. Pay attention to how your ads are doing. Keep an eye on how your ads are doing and make changes if you need to. By following these tips, you may just be able to use social media ads to help your Etsy store become more profitable and successful. In this presentation, I'm going to teach you how to leverage social media in order to find success while selling your products on Etsy. Getting the hang of promoting your Etsy shop on social media is going to take some time and effort, but trust me, it'll be well worth it. Not only will using social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram help drive traffic to your Etsy store, but it'll help you connect with your customers too. From identifying who your target audience is to running social media ads, there are plenty of ways that you, as an Etsy seller, can leverage social media for your Etsy store. It's about so much more than just posting pictures of your products online and occasionally replying to comments from customers. Let's dive right in, shall we? Identify your target audience. When it comes to using social media to drive more traffic to your Etsy store, one of the first and most important steps will be identifying who your target audience is, who makes up your customer base, and what are their specific interests. Once you figure this out, you'll be able to answer your customers' questions and create a sense of community around your brand. Create compelling content. The content you're putting out should be visually appealing, informative, and directly relevant to your target audience. It's always a good idea to use high-quality photos of your products and put time and effort into writing creative captions. Here's a good way to think of it. You're not just selling your products, you're selling your personal brand. Needless to say, you want people to think highly of your personal brand. Schedule your posts. Consistency is more important than you might think when it comes to leveraging social media for your Etsy store. The more consistent you are with your posts, the easier it'll be for potential buyers to follow what you've been up to, both on Etsy and in as much of your personal life as you're comfortable sharing. I'd recommend creating a posting schedule and setting reminders on your phone. That way, you'll be able to stay on track. Use hashtags strategically. Hashtags are great because when used effectively, they can help broaden the reach of your Etsy shop on social media. Using relevant hashtags in your posts will allow you to tap into a wider audience. It's a great way to attract new followers and potential customers. Using branded hashtags in particular could be a great way to amplify brand awareness and overall engagement. Run social media ads. Did you know that you can run ads for your Etsy shop on social media? It's true, and it's a great way to attract new customers. When executing an ad campaign, you'll want to target specific audiences. Focus on the niche that your products fall into and try to re-engage customers who previously visited your Etsy shop. Sometimes a little nudge is all they need. Adjust your strategy based on analytics. Once you've got a feel for how your Etsy shop is doing, you can make changes to how you leverage social media if you need to. For example, you might notice that some products are getting more attention and sales than others. If this is the case, you may want to promote these products on social media instead. This is why checking your analytics regularly is important. It's the only thing that will give you a true sense of which products are most popular during certain times. Good luck and happy selling! 
photography ideas for your Etsy store. Five tips from professional photographers. The photos that you take of your products, after all, are going to be what captures the attention of your target audience, no matter whether they're new customers or customers who've bought from your Etsy shop in the past. A lot of new Etsy sellers wonder how to take great photos for their Etsy shop. After all, no one is born a professional photographer, and while you could always hire a professional photographer to take photos for you, that might not work with your budget. Here are five of the best tips from professional photographers to help you get started. 1. Use natural light. Using natural light is one of the best ways to accurately capture the colors and details of your Etsy products. When photographing, place your product close to a window on a day with ample sunlight. Position your camera in a way that allows the light to illuminate your product evenly. Remember, natural lighting and clear windows can create harsh shadows, so take this into consideration when setting up your camera. 2. Use a tripod. Although it's possible to take photos without a tripod, having one can significantly improve the quality of your product photos. Even if you believe you have a steady hand, you may notice slight movements, especially when trying to capture small important details in close-up shots. If you don't have a tripod, it's definitely worth the investment. You'll never have to worry about accidentally taking blurry photos again. 3. Take plenty of close-up shots. If your phone has a macro mode, it's great for taking close-up pictures. Once you figure out how to use it well, you can take really detailed photos of your products. These close-up shots can show off special details and give your customers a clearer idea of what you're selling. Don't rush when you're taking these photos. The time that macro photography takes will be well worth it. 4. Create a nice backdrop. Many customers today prefer product photos taken in front of a simple or neutral background without any distractions. Although this might seem a bit dull, it's important to display your product from different viewpoints against a plain backdrop. Your product should be the main focus of the photo after all. While you can still include lifestyle shots, remember to take a few pictures without any distractions. Make sure to use pleasant colors or colors that match the aesthetic of your product for your backdrop. Remember though, these colors should complement your product, not overshadow it. Five. Avoid using stock photos. This is a common issue on Etsy. Many third-party platforms offer default stock photos for mock-ups, which can be helpful for new handmade business owners who are trying to get their products listed quickly. However, these stock photos are often generic and overused. If you spend time browsing Etsy, you'll notice many sellers using the same models and backgrounds for their listing photos. This not only makes it hard for your shop to stand out from the competition, but also may turn off customers. For example, if they come across identical mock-ups in multiple shops, they might prefer listings with unique photography instead of ones that look exactly the same as others. This is why putting in the extra effort to take high-quality original photos is so important. As you can see, there's a lot of thought that needs to go into taking high-quality photos for your Etsy shop. These tips from professional photographers should help you get started. In this presentation, I'm going to show you how using SEO can help make your Etsy shop more successful. As you may or may not know, SEO or search engine optimization is a powerful tool that can make a big difference for your Etsy shop. Basically, the more keywords you use in your listings, the higher your Etsy shop will show up in search engine results. In other words, by using SEO in your product listings, you can actually get more people to see and visit your shop. How does this work exactly? Let's break it down. The benefits of using SEO in your Etsy product listings. One, it will help your shop show up higher in search engine results. One of the main benefits for using SEO for your Etsy shop is that it will help your shop show up higher in Google results. When people search for things online, they usually click on the first few results they see. By using SEO and including relevant keywords and phrases in your shop and product descriptions, you can make sure that your shop shows up higher in search results. Two, it will help your target audience find your shop. The great thing about SEO is that by using certain keywords, you'll be making it a lot easier for potential customers to find your shop. 
I'd recommend doing some research to find out what words people are using to search for products like yours. You can then include these words in your product listings and descriptions to help make them more visible to potential buyers. 3. It will help your shop stand out. Using SEO can also help you stand out from other shops on Etsy. With so many shops and products to choose from, it can be difficult to get noticed sometimes. Thankfully, by using SEO to make your shop and products more visible to people using search engines to find what they're looking for, you can increase your chances of getting noticed by both new and past customers, even in an especially crowded market. 4. It will help you attract the right kind of traffic. Using SEO can also help you attract more of the right kind of traffic to your shop. Unlike more traditional advertising methods that try to reach as many people as possible, using SEO will allow you to use specific words and phrases that are relevant to your products and the people who are most likely to buy them. This means the people who find your shop through search engines will be more likely to be interested in what you're selling. 5. It will improve the experience of your customers. In addition to helping you attract more customers, SEO can also help to improve the experience people have when they visit your shop. By making your shop and product listings easier to find and navigate, you can make it more likely that people will find what they're looking for and actually buy something. The happier your customers are, the more likely they'll be to leave a good review. Not only that, but they'll almost definitely revisit your shop in the future. As you can see, Using SEO in your Etsy product listings can make a huge difference. Learning how to leverage SEO in the most effective way possible is going to take some time, but that's not a bad thing. Feel free to experiment with different keywords and see what brings more customers to your shop over time. Once you've optimized your product descriptions with SEO, I'd also recommend Googling the keywords you used just to see where exactly your shop pops up on Google. In this presentation, I'm going to be discussing when it's a good idea to sell new items on Etsy. Many new Etsy shop owners have questions about when they should add new products to their online shops. You may be wondering whether timing really makes a difference, and if so, you've come to the right place. Etsy is a great place for people to sell their handmade crafts, jewelry, clothing, and pretty much anything under the sun. Sometimes posting new listings during certain times will help drive traffic to your Etsy store. Let's get right into it, shall we? Consider when there is demand for items. One important thing to think about when adding new items to your Etsy shop is when people usually want said items. Some items might be more popular during specific times, like the holidays. For example, if you make personalized Christmas ornaments, the holiday season could be the best time to introduce new designs. Knowing when people are looking for specific products will help you plan when to start listing your new items so that your Etsy shop matches exactly what customers are looking for. Consider how long your best-selling items have been on the market. Another thing to think about is how long your current best-selling items have been on the market. If they've been on the market for a while and aren't selling as much, adding new items to your Etsy shop might help give it the boost it needs. Keeping your shop's inventory fresh and up to date with the latest trends can attract repeat customers and keep your store interesting for potential buyers. Consider what's trending. Keeping an eye on what's trending in your Etsy niche is always a smart move, especially if you're trying to figure out when to add new items to your shop. Take some time to check out what people are searching for and what's popular on Etsy, and list your new items based on what's trending. This way, your shop stays competitive as well as relevant when it comes to what your customers want. Take advantage of special events. Etsy also offers chances for sellers to join special events and sales, like on Black Friday, for example. Taking advantage of these times is always a good idea, and it tends to be a great time to introduce new items to your shop as well. Timing your new product releases with these events can make your shop more visible and might even lead to more sales. Take customer reviews into consideration. Listening to what your customers have to say is one of the best things you can do when you're considering adding new items. Reading reviews and chatting with customers is a great way to find out what they like and what they're looking for. If you're getting a lot of questions about certain products or features, it's a sign that there's a demand for new items in that area. 
paying attention to customer feedback will allow you to customize your new products to fit your customers' needs. Check your shop's analytics. Looking at your shop's analytics is also a great idea. Check out the numbers for sales, page reviews, and how often customers are interacting with your shop. This data-driven approach can help you decide when to introduce new items, since you'll be able to get a sense of when exactly people are visiting your Etsy shop. So there you have it. Keep in mind that this is going to take some trial and error, and that sometimes it takes time for people to notice that new listings have been posted.